Hello and welcome to our Chris Jingle service. If we haven't met already, my name is Helen and I'm the Youth and Children's Minister at St Michael's Church in Verwood. Very warm welcome to you today. So for some of you, you will know exactly what this is. For others, this may be the first time that you've seen one. This is a Christingle, and this is what we are going to be talking about this morning. So I often look back with fond memories of the Christmas season, all the different services that I used to go to at church as a little girl all the nativity plays, all the lights and the colours and the people. But by far my favourite is the Chris Dingle service. Not because of all the sweets, but because of what it represents. I'm sure some of you will be familiar with the Chris Dingle, but for some you may not have seen one. And so we're going to build a Chris Dingle together and I'm going to talk you through it as we go. Our story begins with God and his abundant love. God created the world and everything in it, and he made the world out of love. God saw the world and poured out even more love, which created the changing seasons, the plants and trees, all the animals and all the human beings. Even though God blessed the world with all these wonders, it was not the bright and light place that God intended it to be. Human beings have never really taken care of the world or of each other, and we often made the world a dark place. What makes the world a dark place? What stops it from being the place God wants it to be? War, bullying, pollution, breaking the law, just to name a few. So God sent his son into the world to be the light of the world, not a light to shine on the world from heaven, but a light to shine from the earth itself. So God sent his son into the world to be the light of the world, not a light to shine on the world from heaven, but a light to shine from the earth itself. So Jesus was born in Bethlehem. God's son becoming a human being like us to bring God's light into the world in darkness. It was a very dark world that Jesus came to. His own people were oppressed. He was born in a dark and dingy stable. And if you read a little further into the story, you'd find out that Jesus and his family became refugees they had to run away to escape from King Herod, who wanted to kill the baby Jesus. There's no doubt about it. He was born into a very dark world. But that's exactly why he chose to go there. When would you switch on a light or light a candle? Only when it's dark. A single candle flame takes the darkness out of a whole room. But the world didn't like the light. Jesus showed up all the wrong things that had been hidden in the dark. He showed up the injustice in the world and lived a life that showed how we should treat people who were poor or ill or people we find difficult. He talked about how the leaders hadn't been caring properly for everyone and how people had forgotten what really matters. But God still loved the world. On our Christingle, we place a red ribbon around the orange. God's love has always encircled the whole world. How do we see God's love for us and for the world? How do we know that people love us? And how do we know we love other people? Think as many ways as you can that God, God's love breaks into the world. That love was shown most deeply when the grown-up Jesus died on the cross. So the ribbon is red for Jesus's blood. 
let's relight our candles. Even though Jesus died, the candle flame still burns brightly because Jesus came alive again, showing that the love of God was deeper than all the hatred of the world and the peace of God was stronger than the violence of the world and the light of God was brighter than all the darkness of the world. That's the story that the Chris Dingle tells. The story of the light and love of God. Jesus came to bring the light and the love of God to every dark corner of the world. So where do you think the light and love of God are right at this moment? Where in the world and in what situations would you most like the light and love of God to be right now? Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And he also said, you are the light of the world. But how does that light get from Jesus to us and into the world? Well, Chris Dingles are best lit from one another. When our own flame has been lit with the light of God's love, our next job is to pass it on. That's how the light and love of God is spread throughout the world. How will you share the light and love of God today, after this service and over the next few weeks? What acts of kindness, of love, what words of peace, what prayers, what thoughts, Today and this Christmas, we remember how much God loves the world and each one of us. And we thank him for all his blessings, just as he has so richly blessed us. We take those blessings and we become our blessing ourselves to those around us and to the world. Amen. <laughs>